old man of Carnestan looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current floating gently southwards to the fork. Not long after, the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. <laughs> cool. Day six, Wednesday. Okay, let's find Coniston on the map. Coniston. Oh, Jesus Christ, let's get it. Coniston Water, the old man. The old man Coniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current, floating. Out across the lake. This might wanders southwards to the fork. So that could either be here. Oh my god, that was actually it. That's satisfying as hell. The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I'm not empty-handed. Two new plants today. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I have drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Sure. Sure, if that was it. The earth thick with flying, biting insects. Probably an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. Do I have some? I don't think I do. <laughs> I'm confused. Could be this one. Also known as blue aloe or blue winter after its cool blue gray flowers. Winter blue is a hardly plant, often found growing in extreme cold environments. Rubbery leaves. Gray blue flowers. Must be it. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it is hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. Yes, that was it. Cool. It's a little hard to figure out, but it was worth it. Winter four. Next. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The sister is grateful, but the news that the ardor was poisoned with gilded dandruff everyone around me. The temporary acting ardor is panicking. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing, a runaway called Thea that we took in a few years ago. 
We're trying to find her and Sister Charlotte. Remember that the Jacob's Worth plant is set to help locate people. Jacob's Worth should be in the list. Yes. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers of the Jacob's Worth, but it is the leaves that have the most interesting properties. It is said they will point the way towards any person you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many a lost wanderer out in the fells. Unusual flower. Jacob's Worth. Nice. So satisfying to identify all these. Jacob's Worth. It's kind of trouble. This is the one I just did. And let's stay over here for a while. I think I did this. Did this. Did I do this? The twins, yes, I did this, did this, said verb I, 33, yes I did, Ugh, this list is getting ridiculous, L29, L24, I don't think I've done this yet. After a pleasant amble through the village, I find myself in a farmer's field. There is little of botanical interest here. Only a few sheep and an old scarecrow uh, who leers at me from his perch, arms askew. I notice he's dressed in what looks like a shopkeeper's outfit. Once respectable, now shabby. I cannot quite place who he reminds me of. Probably myself. Arthur Cook my wife's birthday and I wanted to get her something special. There was a plant that she used to love as a child but she hasn't been able to find any in years. It's sort of bulb like and has a strong smell to it but strong in a good way and the flower is more like lots of little flowers. Bulb like huh? Could be many things again. Engine, but not on the front. Let's try this. Ennis Aylford, we've had our eye on you for some time now. Join us. Praise the Dandru. Excuse me, what? I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise will be very useful to us and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Goat Church before Friday. Do I do this? Oh, sure, why not? Joining cult. Joining a cult is always fun. Sad Gill Church. Isn't that? Oh, it's here. Let us know we can count on believing a single seven drones outside. And over here. St. John's Park. Green. I have it 
turned from the swing side. I must admit I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the stone circle. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him the better. Reuben had it right tough grizzly. I have the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on the sample of the gilded dendro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to dendros miasma. A sure painful way to die. Poison. Fingers ache. Depends on this plant. Could be this. Let's try it. Here we go. I get baldy now. Could have gone south. It's no use in over analyzing this stuff, honestly. And wood. My aunt died two weeks ago and I inherited her house after sifting through her possessions and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought immediately thought of your shop, you know about plants, right? Not really. Royal Gentia. Sometimes called Everhard, the pink. Say no more. Smartest person alive. What can I say? I can still travel. Okay, how in here? K32. K32. Don't think so. K32. A thin crack runs, runs down the rock face. Widening as it nears the ground, just wide enough for a man to slip through, but there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance, too heavy to move. Armor's worry, do I have that? Spongy mushroom with potent abilities. Spongy mushroom like plant. This is the only one that could be it. Five miles south of the tallest but one, it grows in peace in the midday sun. Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book, her excitement building as she did. She couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now it had become a session. The tallest but one. Hmm. Day seven already, damn. Five miles south of the tallest point. Is this height? Let's try that then. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. 
She was able to strip away the swift nearest vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in grey ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon Scepter, I awake. Solomon Scepter. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn. The flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Sweet smelling. Smells luring. Does he look a little like this? I think that's it. Yes. a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swinside Stone Circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem to bother, but it's gotten them panicked down Foxwood Way. Let's do this first. I'm also the tallest but one. No, I don't understand. Five miles south of the tallest but one. Frozen peaks in the middle of the sun. Idea, honestly. Tower, castle, forest, peak, castle. Just one, two, three, four, five. Let's just <laughs> do that. No, maybe not. Maybe not the smartest one. Get the letter. Kent near I. Is that a place? <laughs> Kent near I. Grass near. Am I just blind or can't mirror under mirror? Can no, I mean not can can't mirror. I I've been here. Can't mirror I been here before. What was that about? I can't figure out either of these two. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gala Dendra that was used at the Swinside Ritual side. That's a worrying sign. Uh, it's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations, and it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to, to think it through some more. Maiden Sorrow. Okay, that's 
Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is um, said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. The flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but it is at thorns along. Mm -hmm. Probably this. Yes. So this is gonna be I'm stuck. Maidens. 